and therefore everything in the world has the characteristics of smoke. You know, when you blow a pipe or something and a cloud of smoke and you see it in the sunbeam and it's full of walls and designs and all kinds of marvelous things going on and then slowly it disappears. Well, everything's just like that. Now, there are two attitudes you can take to that state of affairs. You can say sour grapes. It's all a lousy, wretched trap. Here I am, I'm given all these feelings of love and attachment and joy of life, and then I fall apart. My teeth drop out, my eyes become feeble. I get cancer or cirrhosis of the liver or something, and then it all falls apart, and it's too bad. Therefore, therefore, don't become attached to things. Don't enjoy life. Treat it, holding it off like that, just like a very, very firm person who's been jilted and says, never again will I get mixed up with love, because love hurts. But on the other hand, a weaving of smoke can be very beautiful, provided you don't lean on it, provided you don't try to preserve it, catch hold of it, then you destroy it. So exactly the same way, there's nothing in the way of form that you can lean on, that you can grasp. And if you see that, then the world of form is very beautiful. If you let it go, to love people, you must let each other go.